morning out at Lakeside. All my race cars are broken, so today we put out the Mazda 2 for Miscu Control to drive. And out the back over there, the Order 86. Just put some Nankang NS2R tires on there just to see how it goes. It is automatic, standard suspension, standard brakes, so we'll just see how it goes. So it is time attack. Normally we bring the GTR out here. Wish I had it out here, but unfortunately the suspension is still getting sorted out. Um, and the M3's actuator is obviously gone for the last time, so is what it is. It should be fun though. It'd be good just to go foot flat around in the Mazda. We've got the new oil cooler in there. Uh, hopefully the oil temperatures will drop. And then the 86 will be doing a track training in the afternoon as well. But in the morning, I'm just gonna drive it for a bit of fun. I've got uh, Shane Plow coming out, who is a guy I used to race door to door with quite a bit, and he's in the same group, and a car that should be about similar pace. So we're gonna have fun, put all the videos on board as per usual, and see how it goes. So let's get the driver's briefing done, get the car set up, and head out onto the track. the two was fun despite the traffic but we did manage to get to a 68 flat even with a big lift off onto the straight side no for sure the car's back up to pace we might just do something for the intake bring the intake temperatures down i've covered up the holes for the oil cooler because it was only getting up to about 68 degrees which is not actually enough we needed to be a bit warmer so i've closed off the holes to see how that goes but now we're gonna jump in the 86 just have a bit of fun for the rest of it let's go Bring hunting for left arm but change here he's only about a second slower so I'm just going to chase it for the next session because I prefer that. <laughs> I prefer driving with others. If I can take passengers on these days, that's all I'd be doing. So we'll leave the aircon running for this one. And have some fun. survived the uh, brake paddles pads are all over the wheels now the Mazda 2 survived uh, Miss Gear Control had fun she got a time down pretty well so we're gonna pack up now we're gonna head off yep. hey Casa I mean Bridget knows more about door control than anything <laughs> <laughs> can't what? take Esther anywhere Anywhere. The question wasn't, can you drive today? You said, can I drive? Because it was debatable. Because, like, I don't know. Can you? Are you faster than the gas? Yeah. I don't know yet. 
I don't know, I haven't timed yet. Who's this guy? I haven't timed. So, I was meant to go to Queensland Raceway and test the car in real drive mode. And then the weather decided to have a different idea. So it's storming all day tomorrow. So the car is now off the track for a few months. Another project. Yay. Out of too many. So the idea is to make it as light as possible. Starting with removing the bolting cage that's in here so we can have a uh, lighter spec cage that actually uh, fits nice and tight. And get rid of as much weight as possible. So standard dash goes, all the aircon stuff goes, all the mass stuff goes. And we'll do a front clip, hopefully in fiberglass or carbon fibre. We'll remove as much of the standard stuff out the back as possible, put a proper wing on it. And cut out as much metal as I don't need inside there. It's going to be a cage that's going to be tied to all the pillars. New base for the seats so that it sits lower. New lighter seats. Basically, I've just created another project that I'm not going to drive for a few months. <laughs>